Welcome to Crazy Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. I start the timer. Boom. TNT, I want to tell you about a man called Matt Stutzman. Matt Stutzimans. I know him. He, I don't. He uh, he is a professional archer. Is that the professional bow shooter? An <laughs> archer? I guess. That's what... Yeah, yeah. sure. Uh, archer. A bowman. So, so there is something very special about this man. Okay, what's special about him? He has no arms. I, you know, I just saw this guy. I saw him, dude. I saw him on. Well, it must must have been on Reddit. Yeah, it must have been. been. So he, yeah, he has, he has, he doesn't, he doesn't even have like I'd say maybe a quarter of an arm, probably if that. Like That's, his arms are pretty much almost all gone. It's, you know, a lot of times people have like half an arm or whatever. He has like barely any arm at all. That's not enough and, arm. And he has a he gets like a he wears like a shoulder harness yeah. that the something hooks into and he h- holds his foot up yeah. and he puts the bow and he pushes the bow out with his foot and then he like hits his head down on this little release lever or something and it shoots the arrow this dude is winning competitions yeah he's really good yeah he's really good, he's really good. so he uh there's also a really bad meme of where he won the medal and the guy reaches out to shake his hand. Have you seen that? No, but that's he, funny. the guy puts a medal over his hand and then he like he does the one arm out and then it did the whole uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm pot like. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. And it was just like awkward. Like, oh yeah, you can't do that. But dude, how what would you? I'd shake his foot. How would you feel if you were a professional bow shooter and like this dude with no, no arms comes in and is like whooping your ass with his foot? Hey. <laughs> Like, hey. that's how I, like, can I just, can I, I have arms, but can I just try to shoot like that? I mean, and you know, <laughs> you know, what's funny is that he doesn't have to, he's not in like the handicapped Olympics either. He's like, no, he's playing, he's real playing Olympic. regular dude. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. yeah. And yeah, so. I, mad props, dude. Like, mm-hmm. it's like, and I love that when you see somebody, he's like, oh yeah, dude, I don't have any hands, but you know what? I'm going to crochet. Like I'll use my feet and my mouth or, you know, and you're just like. It, it's, Good for you, man. It's so funny to me, Jonas, of like the duality of this whole ideal. Um, <laughs> because when you think about this guy who's okay. overcoming the odds and defeating guys who have all of their appendages, who have all the, the abilities to defeat him because he doesn't have arms, and then you look at like the uh, the swimmer who is a uh, trans woman. And beating the women and like the country is divided. I would say more than divided over whether or not this young <laughs> well, lady should be competing th- with well, here's natural what I think born the main women. Di- the main difference is I feel they think the guy without arms is at a disadvantage and they okay. feel like the guy with the male genetics who is competing with women is, is at an advantage. Okay, and so what if a woman decided to start playing football and and a a trans man so she's a woman who became a man decided to play football and was one of the outbreak quarterbacks i mean breakout quarterback everyone would say good for her it would not be it would not be uh i think i think that if a woman even even if a if a uh cis female woman Mm -hmm. was good enough to play in the nfl and made the team i think people would still cheer her whether it even feels a kicker, yeah, because they'd be like, "Good, for, you're that good that you can compete with all the men." There's only what fifty teams times or thirty two teams times like fifty players essentially. So what fifteen hundred yeah. professional out football America, players? And you, and it, yeah, if you get one of those fifteen hundred spots out of three hundred and thirty million people, good for you. Like, but, but but with the men on the football field, would they have a reason to complain about it? Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, they probably would a little bit. I don't know. But wh- what were they going to do when the first uh, trans woman gets in the WNBA? And starts dunking all over women. And well, What like, happens when the first trans man gets into the NHL and starts slapping shots? Good for them. See? And that's where it's, that's where it's double entendre. But like, that's the part I don't like. I feel you. I feel you on that. Because it's, it's um, it, the world has been set up for equality. But it ain't. 
but it's but it if ain't. the if the equality is determined but fair by a certain it's subjective equality, it, it, 100%. right? And that, and it kind but here's the it's other not thing: true equality. But here's the thing: I think it damages the equality stance across the board, whether it's race equality, gender equality, whatever. If you start nitpicking and going, this equality's fair and that equality's not fair, what's the same? What's the same for someone to be like? Well, then this isn't fair for women, and this is fair for women, and this isn't fair for Mexican people, and this is fair for Mexican because yeah. it's okay, okay, okay. You're opening up a new a new level here. So yeah. you're saying is that the equality is kind of based a lot on history. In right. The, it's like, in the past, women have not been treated fairly. Right. Or race certain races or gay people or whatever. We, we could even go as far back and say that women were once kept as purely slaves, cock- essentially, concubines. Essentially, yeah. Um, it, it, rape was not a crime. Right. And, uh, women weren't allowed to vote, you know, right. moving up the timeline. Right. Women weren't allowed to uh, hold jobs. Women right. were beaten by their husbands and it was exactly. hidden. It was, exactly. Women were killed yeah. over just being... Uh, trying to be educated or whatever yeah they couldn't learn they couldn't it's still happening today where these women are being so yeah so if you decide that certain things aren't equality now does that not hurt the entire cause because the whole thing is we want everyone to be on an equal playing field yeah so you're saying is that no trans men in the nfl no i'm saying let them in just as much everyone should be like if you they want equality for, for women and men and racists, right? That's great. I love all of that. I think everyone should be treated equally. But you also want people who are transitioning from male to female and female to male to be treated equally. I want that. But if then you say because you transitioned from a male to a female or female to male, then this part of it, you can't be equal. That hurts the whole cause, dude. That hurts the whole cause. Because then, you're, then, it's, then it, instead of it becoming equality for everyone, it becomes subjective equality. Okay. And that I think that hurts everybody. And come, this is coming from a white cis male. So like no, obviously uh, my dude, hey, it does not But but I'm the, I'm fighting the good statement. fight for equality, you know what I mean? Like the, yes. I don't understand the oppression cuz my race, I'm white, you know, I'm a man like but I understand that equality is equality. If you start trying to like uh car- compartmentalize equality, I feel like that's a bad thing for everyone's equality. An injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Right, exactly. It's the same sort of now. Like, do do I think he prob that that she probably has an advantage because she was born a man and has probably yes. I mean, it's from the numbers you can tell. Yeah, I mean, she's done the necessary hormone treatments or whatever. Right, but even still, her going from like a hundred and something place of all round men to going to first place all round women. Right, it I mean, is a little a little sus. A little, like it's like oh okay well yeah she obviously has like a genetic whatever but at the same time she's transitioned to a woman she's a woman she's not a man she's a woman the same is same you know what i mean it, but if that's the thing if then if they want to say well <laughs> technically you're still this or that then that that just it ruins the equality man it uh, ruins the equality it makes it so hard for me because well, you know what jonas i'm really i'm not I'm not jabbing <laughs> Well, but here, but here's the thing. They say I'm not. they say I've heard, I've read some the to this day still the most oppressed out of all those uh, LGBTQ rate uh, is 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 trans women. Absolutely. Men who transition to women are still the most oppressed because women. I've even had like people who are like feminists and act, activists towards all of this stuff be like, I don't feel the same about trans women, and it's like, well. You yeah. can't just say they're not equal too, man. Like, Women come on. do not want you in their club, man. Right. They don't. And it's like that's very true. You can't, you know, just because just because a guy was is like, you know, I'm really a woman. I want to be a woman. I want to, you know, like he. And that is true because women have a different response for two gay guys. Two gay guys wearing like button down jackets with their hair poofed up and with right. a, with a with a lap dog, perfectly fine. I'll be that person's best friend. Right. But a trans woman, uh, tra- there yeah, yeah, it's a little bit it's of like a little it's different. It's uh and I've had them say and well it's interesting because I've even had I've talked to people about this and they even say I'm I'm so accepting. I'm so I don't know why that particular compartment of all of this I don't feel the same about. And it's like I know I should because equality is equality is equality. But there's something about that, and, and it's just, and it's, and it, and I don't, I mean, it's hard, man. dude, you it's know what? Hard. I, I, 
I feel like if they do ban it, it it's gonna it's gonna it's it's gonna cause regression <clears throat> because it sets a precedent to start like doing whatever. Now, if you want to say you can only compete in a sport or compete in competition with your genetic your your birth genetic makeup mm-hmm. like so let the dude the let the woman who had a, had a was a male before compete with the men because she, she is still has a male genetic makeup that's what they want to do i'm not i mean it's still kind of yeah, eh, yeah but like because or, cause what, what else on, do you do you have all the trans men compete against each other Right, and then that becomes even more seg- segmented, segmented yeah. and, and like then they come yeah. even more compartmentalized, and yeah, and that's where it's just like if you want one, it, it's like you can't have your cake and eat it too. You either get equality everywhere or you don't, and that's hard, dude. It's hard. It, I get I it. Don't, I don't know the answer. So, anyways, I don't, I don't, man. drop I don't in the comments the what you think. We're, I mean, I'm all for equality, but you know, hey, whatever, man. I'm just one dude. So, but that's all the time we have for this episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out.